Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Wolf, and I'm casting a game between Moo Moo Moogie, the red ter Protoss, left side, and his opponent Opzen, the blue Terran, right side, Metalopolis. Moo Moo Moogie would be a master race. He's one of the master race, which would mean that he uh, automatically wins this game because the master race is the best race. Long time no see. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. I took a, I took a little vacation, sorta. My, my, a mental vacation. I've, uh,. I'm going to start casting less than I used to, but I'll try to get good games. I need to game more. I, I need to play more games. I need to play this game more. I need to play Call of Duty more. And before anybody's like, Call of Duty is dumb. See, no troll voice. I know I know moderation. It's not because you guys hate it. It's just, I, I talk the way I think. And when I think, there's a troll in there. And that troll is like, speaking in troll voices. I hear, I hear troll voices. This is an awesome game. This is freaking awesome. But uh, um, I'll be casting a little. I'll, I'll try to cast less so that I can play games more. Because as it stands, I am probably like a gold player. I need to practice, get myself back to where I was. I want to try to get to diamond in the not too far off future. I have like infinity power, overwhelming bonus points, so I should be able to get into grandmasters pretty easy. Probably within a couple days, actually. I trolled you. <laughs> You know what we need? Production tab. Production tab. Let's see, Mr. Probe. You guys you guys know what? I just I thought of a reason why I'm really good at, at casting. You know, Pyrrhic, right? Well we did the dual cast. Well, uh for him when he casts, his game goes about twice as fast. So for me to cast a game, I have to sound interesting for twice as long. Not not to compare myself with Pyrrhic, I'm just saying computer wise, since my computer sucks, I have to be twice as good. Yeah. Bad reasoning, I know. Uh, Mumu was just checking it out. I'm gonna call him Mumu, which reminds me of Avatar: Last Airbender. I, I really like that show. Um, with Momo, the lemur. I, I like that. I like the lemur. He was cool. And then of course they talked to each other. Getting that standard orbital. 16. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do any harassment with one of our best harassment units, the probe. Kind of sad, but um, beats all the other worker races. Workers. I don't even know why we even use zealots. We should just worker rush at the beginning of every game. It'd be really messed up. Uh, Cybernetics just standard for both players right now. Kind of floating my brain everywhere because I'm I'm trying to get back into it. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing more Call of Duty because I that's just the game I really love playing. I love to play with the Famas. Even though I, I originally I didn't like assault rifles or non-German assault non-German weapons, but. It's like MP5K is worthless compared to the Flamas. There's no reason not to use it. So, But the main reason I use it is because my best weapon is the flamethrower attachment. I just like to run around and flame the shit out of people. Ha. I'm really good at that. Um, Starcraft, I should be playing more. I played some Zerg, Zerg today trying to hold off Forgate. So I think I'll be trying to play some more Zerg to try to find out how to hold off the Forgate. I know that there's diamonds watching this. And you're like, it's not, it's not possible. <laughs> See, I got to build up the resistance to it. They're saying, you know, it's it's not not very easy to do. I'm trying to look for just a solution to it. But I, if Zerg really has that much problem with Forgate, I'd love to see it nerfed. I don't know how really. I mean, this this already takes forever. I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to see it and three racks. Oh, I did actually think of a way to nerf it. I'd love to see three racks nerf and Forgate nerf, and probably seven Norse rush ner nerf too. You know how to do that? Make the maps bigger. I, oh, I've been practicing my Kermit voice. I'll have to let you guys hear it. I, uh, yeah, if the maps were bigger, rushing like that would be easier to hold off. So it'd be nice to see a change to the map pool, of course. Metalopolis though, is one of my favorite maps because it's just cool. Plus, apparently it's balanced, but I like it because it's cool. Poor Probe dying. Probably could have beat that Marine since Probes are overpowered. In fact, I give up all my games against Protoss because we both have Probes. And it becomes a Probe on Probe battle, so it's dumb. <laughs> uh... Yeah, f I like to flamethrower people, and I wish they would nerf the aggressive builds. I have to say, though, as a watcher who watches the watcher, I like watching really micro games or really macro games. And I, I don't like casting macro macro games as much, obviously, because it's just macro macro macro. A snake, a snake! Ooh, what's this? Is that a dark shrine? Man, that's a dark shrine being erected in my pants right there. This would be the pants zone from now on. Called the pants on. <laughs> uh, yep, Dark Strike going up and stem finishing. So currently the yeah, expand. I was just talking about whatever I was talking about. I keep losing my, my track, my brain track. 
Terran player is going for like two racks expand. Um, kind of weird actually. I'm surprised he didn't just one racks expand. Like, he might be sensing some aggression, I suppose. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but fortunately for Mumu, Mumu, love you. Uh, expands are easy, much easier to harass an opponent that has more bases going on. So harassment is gonna happen. Dark Shrines take forever to finish. A hundred seconds is amazing. I think it's less. I think Twilight Council only took like sixty seconds. I'm gonna guess. 50. See? Oh, no, it's 50, so yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I was close. You guys can stop flaming me. I think that was a probe. It looked like a pylon when it blew up, but I thought it was a probe, so whatevs. Whatevs. Gonna get another Rax. He needs more Rax. Daddy, what's a Rax? I don't know what that's from, but I heard it before. Uh, Obzen. What a weird name. First Dark Temple are coming in at five seconds. They're they're so overpowered. They build in five seconds. Like people who talk about warp tech, like it's overpowered. Yeah, uh, it, it still takes the same amount of time. It pretty much gives us four extra reinforcements. The only thing about it that's really good is putting them anywhere on the map. I'm thinking about not using warp gates in most of my Protoss builds from now on, except for the four gate, of course. Let's watch the micro and that's what I was talking about, micro and macro. <laughs> Anyway, I like to watch micro and macro games. Sees the Dark Templar. Will he save it? He actually will save it. This one is going to die. He uh, sacrificed one, but the one that was closer got in. Really good control videos. Let's take a look at the APM real fast. Ooh. Uh, Red is actually doing really impressive with his 12, now 60 APM. Made the, made the opponent, Terran player, move his whole fucking SCV line away. Now he's going to be hitting some of those. Dang, they're so cool. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I like how Blue has like over 100 APM and he's not really doing anything. Hopefully he'll be able to scan. Doesn't actually have any scans right now, so the timing for this is perfect. The first scan went down and it just wasn't a good hit, so... Trent has a Dark Templar, doesn't know that he doesn't have any energy, but he is focusing a little bit more on the micro at the front right now. He's got two, two, three! Oh my god! He's got three more Dark Templar. Uh, still no scan from Mr. Terran Player. I'll try to keep it on the Orbital Command. Look how much damage he can do with this. If he actually sniped out this uh, engineering bay and then hit the missile turrets going up, he could probably just win the game right now. Uh, Orbital Command's about to be finished, though. I think they spawn with 50 energy, so then he'll, yeah, he'll have two scans available. He needs to spread out his units really fast, and the Terran player really needs to scan. Why don't you scan, you Terran? Because all you know how to do is click the A button. <laughs> Uh, yeah, still hasn't... Oh, there he goes, the missile turret going up. Really, really bad, actually. Probably... There, there's a scan, so he'll be able to take that easily, I, I hope. Please just kill them. Uh, and then, of course, this Dark Templar is actually killing the Supply Depot now. I guess it, he put the Refiner on fire. It might go down. We'll try to keep our eyes on that. I don't think it's going to go down, though. That'd be a really bad... That'd be a horrible miss there for the Terran player to miss that. Uh, still got one Dark Templar down here. No more scans right now, so he will be able to not do anything because he's hitting a bunker, but it looks cool. Look at that. That Dark Templar has the ability to blow it up with mine bullets. That's Selkinesis sub, sub, sub subscribers. I want to call you guys sub, subcasters. It's not nice. I'm a better cast than you guys. You subcasters. Uh, it did go down. That was very bad for Mr. Terran. Let's go back to the production tab. Take a look at what's going on. We have Charge. One of my very favorite upgrades. I do believe I don't fight Terran very well. I do play against Zerg and Protoss much better. Terran is the matchup I just have trouble with. And Charge is one of those things I love. So Charge is awesome. And currently no more tech switchy right now. Getting a lot more warp, warp gates in the future. They're gateways right now. Two warping more units. He needs probably a bit of macro fail while controlling his units well but realistically he did a lot of damage into what he's macro failed he's doing great he's got he's up in expansion uh, Terran player is definitely not happy expanded right now he actually isn't saving energy for scans so he must feel pretty confident that there's uh, he's pretty safe realistically I mean the only thing a dark Templar could even hit safely are these over here and that's not really like oh my god he's hitting my starport woo woo Looks like a trash can there. Or like a vagina. Yeah. That's what I see. Going back to the game. <laughs> we have a Templar Archives. What do you guys think about my timing? Sweet, isn't it? Templar Archives. Upgrade. Being finished. Forge is also being done. So we get some upgrades. I hope so. Uh, cans are lame. I wish, can I wish cans were just removed from the game. They're dumb. 
hell, I, I don't care, really. I, uh, put my observer in my nexus and remove cannons, and I'd be totally fine with that. I don't like cannons at all. The only thing they do for me is attack, so... Probably get overpowered. Us Protoss players, though. <laughs> We're already overpowered. Mumu's a uh, master. Master. So I assume his opponent is either Diamond or Master or some really unfortunate bronze player. <laughs> really unfortunate. Sir, he went 5-0 oh in the placement matches. Why are you making him a bronze league? He's not that good. I can sense it. And then, of course, he loses like the next 10 games. Like, now we will make him play against the Master. The Master race. Um, awkward. It's <laughs> finishing the pylon and the expands like... Yeah, this is kind of my place, so... I don't know why you didn't put the pylon right here, because the pylon did go down first. I, I missed it the second time, but I did see it the first time. Pylon went down first. If you're going to put a pylon down, why not just put it here? So we got Dark Templar into High Templar. I love this play. You can see how his army's really suffered for the fast Tier 3 tech units, but his use of... Uh, his micro of his Dark Templar is really spot on. So you can see how blue... Uh, looking at the units... That's probably what I want, yeah... 40 to 60, and I mean, the probes are ahead of each other, but if we look at the army tab, which I do want that, wow. I mean, Red's army isn't that good at this point in the game. I mean, at 13 minutes, it's only 104. I mean, I couldn't beat that, but I'm pretty sure most players that just went for, like, a, a big army right now could. And uh, Blue would have a bigger army if he just, like, three racks and continued getting aggressive and expanding and stuff, but he couldn't because of the Dark Templar attack. Plus, he expanded. It's not like he chose to get Dark Templar attacked. He chose to expand. Getting Storm. Um, I, You want to warp in your High Templar when your Storm is about halfway done, just like the Spire. You want to warp it in when you're about halfway done. And they'll be able to get enough energy to Storm. And then, of course, the Kaidaran Amulet is really good because there's not much you can do about Psionic Storm. It's just warp in Storm by sacrifice them. Uh, getting armor and weapons. So apparently he's got two forges. I did miss the second forge going down. Or he's cheating. Yeah, so there's two forges. Uh, plus one armor and weapons. I do support that. Y'all, President needs you. <laughs> I do support that. Getting armor, of course. It's just good. Where's that Dark Templar? Let's look at the little red dots going around. Uh, I like his pylon placement, actually. It feels very uh, pylon power highway. Power way. Oh, no. Goodbye, Dark Templar. Kill that bitch. Yeah, that's awesome. How much damage did you do? 45? I didn't know that. I thought Marines had 55 health. I mean, I know they had 55 after the upgrade, but for some reason I felt like they had 55 into 55, so they didn't actually have an upgrade. That's weird. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know how good Dark Templar were against them. There is no reason to get plus one weapons for Dark Templar, though. I mean, they'll upgrade. They'll do five more damage, which is pretty significant. If they get plus two, you can negate the... Uh, Combat Shields upgrade, which hasn't been bought yet. It's actually really good, so I don't know why he hasn't got it. Probably because he didn't really have an army to speak of. Uh, yeah, if you get plus two weapons, the Dark Templar can negate that plus ten health there. And then, of course, if you get plus three, I'm pretty sure you can ignore all armor when you're killing Marines. I can see that being effective. Um, Blue looks like he's trying to macro up. I mean, like, he's expanded like crazy. I think if I was... Not saying I was in his position, but if I if I was this player, and for some reason I was a stupid Terran player, I would think to myself, I need to macro up. It's it, it's like a Dark Templar. I I say the best time to use Dark Templar, other than this, like a freak, is to uh, when you're going to lose, just do it and hope for the best. Because Dark Templar can be really make or break for lower level players. When you have the micro to control them, though, it's not make or break. Uh, Dang, nice pylon placement, too. Nice hidden pylons there can warp in right behind enemy lines. Dark Templar are keeping blue on the defensive, though. Um, and blue's trying to just macro up because he feels probably pretty weak compared to red. I mean, he is the inferior race. We are Protoss. Umu has a buildup of minerals and gas, but really not that significant at this point in the game. I mean, 4 High Templar, uh, 28 plus 2, 30. See, I'm good at math. 3 and 4. So his army's, uh... Very charge lot heavy, but his charge lots are getting plus two, plus two. The important things where it matters. Shields are dumb. Who cares about shields? And, uh... <coughs> 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 squeak. <coughs> oh, man, my brain froze. Oh, yeah, and charge lots with plus, plus armor are really good against Terran. Warping in four more. Look how overpowered our units are. They come in five seconds. That's just how warp gates work. Lowers the time to get any unit to five seconds. No cooldown. That's how overpowered we are. Go 
massive shells. I hate marauders. Look at these guys. Mewling the shit out of it. Let's take a look at the income tab. You guys can roll with me. Yo, Doug. I heard you like mules. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good at that map at all. I'm not even gonna continue. Um, drop it off. Come on. I want to see you skyrocket. Okay. I don't even. We're just gonna go ahead and not look at that because it's not. Oh, actually, we're looking at this number. So we went from 1,300 to 1,800 with mules. I know they only last 90 seconds, but I still like to lull at them. Plus two, plus two. I think he's waiting for that armor to finish before moving in. Let's take a look. Are you going to move? Yes, that was what he was waiting for. Do it. You will die. I would say he's got good army positioning, but considering that his army is about 50% charge loss, he it's pretty impossible to have bad army positioning. <laughs> Charge lots in the front like water flowing over this. Okay, now he doesn't have enough units to take out this planetary fortress. He needs to back up. No, I'm just kidding. His opponent can't fix the planetary fortress because it's surrounded by charge lots. And if he tries to fix it, he'll just storm them. So planetary fortresses themselves are actually really weak and expensive to maintain if you're fixing them. But they're almost impossible to kill while they're being fixed by a full army of SCVs. But the planetary fortress was nerfed indirectly by making SCVs that are repairing have the same priority as attacking unit to the attacking to your unit's AI. Like, oh, he's attacking, he's healing that guy. Therefore, he's just as dangerous as Thor. And so, the planetary fortress actually got a really pretty big nerf that way. Can't keep it up. Uh, does know that there's storm on the way, so he's getting his ghost very wise. Get plus two weapons is finishing. A uh, little bit of macro fail, but his army is very scary. Look at the units tab. It's definitely what I don't want. Army, that's what I want. Uh, 168 to 97. <coughs> and if we look at the, if I look at them by clicking on their names, 168 to 101. What? Uh, how many? Is that just their supply? I guess so. I, I always thought that, that was their army supply. You know, not just. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go ahead and hide my failure with the production tab. Oh, there we go again, and they're going to start fixing it. You guys ready to see some beautiful, beautiful... Yes, I love that. <laughs> Storm rips through stuff. <laughs> you you got to feel a little sorry for those SCVs, though. They're like, let's fix this. we got to do this for the Terran race. And then it's like this gigantic storm rips apart air and time, turns them into mush. Pretty much puts the guy inside into a blender and shakes it up. Surely you can't be serious. I am. Definitely, surely. Oh man, charge lots are so cool. I love charge lots. I need to get charge lots every game. I need to blindly just do charge lots every game until I get to Master League. And then they get nerfed and I'll be screwed. Lol. Uh, Raven. Not doing anything, actually. Can't can't really do anything. There's not much he could do. The point defense drone will destroy three attackers. Attacks. And, uh... Can't use it right now. Secret missiles really actually would help out quite a bit. And then the auto turret can put two down pretty soon. That's not going to do anything against so many charge lots. They're just going to kill. Uh, lots of dying charge lots here. Not good, but realistically, I can see it has an advantage. Since the Terran player... I mean, he was obviously on the defense, but now he's on a very defensive mindset. He's going to have to hold off these waves of charge lots. So, Blue is just... He's at one... Okay. He's at retard base. I mean, two... And uh, <clears throat> needs to really saturate that up. Oh my goodness, I missed this. There is a drop going on. I'm in, I hate drops. Uh, how do you deal with drops? You storm the shit out of them. I love storms. It's so awesome. Uh, yeah, it might get nerfed. It might hit, but I, I, I have to say I agree with the uh, the Protoss on this one. I know I'm Protoss, but I, I have to say, if you, I, I'm ready to be flamed. Okay, flame shield on. If you're going to keep using tier 1 and 1.5 units, they deserve to die to like a tier 3 high Templar, which are awesome, by the way. Oh, look, what the hell? His face looks really, really thin. Is that just me? I guess I've gotten used to it for the other units, but high Templar are not very common, so I'm not used to this really thin face, because I'm just saying it. Whenever I saw it previously, it was on my laptop screen, which is actually widescreen. <clears throat> and this computer screen is actually just normal screen. I'm trying to get a ghost... Uh, Blue is not doing hot at all. He's horribly mineral starved. He actually needs to get guys off the gas and onto minerals. I tried to do that when I played as because I had so many, so much gas. I'm like, we'll just get him off gas. We have uh, Blink being researched. Really curious about that. Plus three weapons, plus three armor. That's nice. That's going to totally 
uh, the maxing out of upgrades on an army is just sexy to me. I, I get off on it every time it goes on. Uh, blue is making just marauders. <coughs> Very dumb, I have to say. I uh, I know marines are weaker health wise than marauders, but I I I don't play Terran, but I don't know why I'd make marauders anymore. I would just make marines. I, I, uh, flame shield. <laughs> Ghost is in a horrible place here. If Red had moved forward... Oh my god, actually this is probably just as bad right here. Oh, getting flanked too. Charge lots, good use of his... Or good micro and control of his units. Trying to force the attention of the Terran player at one side while hitting harder on the other side. Stimming, uh, trying to get out of it. Unfortunately, he's in a really bad spot. So I was able to scissor him in that area and then of course storm the shit out of him. So I think we're going to see some EMPs go down. Yeah, he can't EMP yet. Oh, that's really bad. Poor, poor ghost. Never say die. I think they spawn with 40 or 75 energy, so he might have used it once. I could see how these high, these charge lots are not feeling so good. Dang, charge lots are awesome. <laughs> Ready for a quick blast up the past? I remember back when I played Brood War. I would just mass zealots. <laughs> I had to get fast plus speed. I haven't changed that much, have I? I didn't play Brood War that much though, so. Um, I do think that Blue has lost. I'm going to spoil it for you guys. I think Blue has lost this game. He is trying to put down auto turrets, but auto turrets don't work against us like they do against Zerg because we have the supreme race. Zerg is not. Uh, has some blink. Come on, finish blink. I want to see it. Getting some Archons. It's very sad, actually. I don't like Archons. Every time I see them, they make me cry. Because I'm like, oh my god, I lost two cool high Templar for a shitty Archon. <laughs> like control phase. GG says Obzen. I think he could have made it. What do you guys think? He could float up his orbital command and float to the corner of the map and stall the game until there's a uh, starport on the way. Interesting. You know what? You know he didn't get this game. I'm gonna stretch it and tell you guys. <sighs> I didn't get a, a robotics facility. I didn't get a Stargate. I really love that because I'm a fan of uh, Gateway and the Psionic Path. So. I uh, I was really impressed with that. Dark Shrine was able to keep on the Terran on the defense, expand safely, and then he was able to skip Colossus, which some players like to do, and just go straight to High Templar. I could see how a couple of Terrans just make Vikings, like they are completely ready for Colossus, and then there's just High Templars lolling at them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching my cast. Thank you for your positive encouragement. Thank you for that strange-looking banner down there, and thank you. For being awesome. Thank you. Thank you.